Okay, this sounds like the car for me. It nudges you back to your lane if you drift, wakes you if you doze, gently brakes in slowing traffic. So who makes this dream car? Here to tell us about the 2017 Mercedes-Benz E400 4Matic wagon is WSJ's rumble seat columnist, Dan Neal. Hi, Dan. Hello, Tanya. How are you? I'm well, thanks. I love the sound of this car. I mean, does this mean that the technology we've been waiting for to finally save us from our sloppiest selves is here? It is sort of here, yes. Uh, you know, the, the trick with uh, autonomous driving in the next 10 years is the handoff. Getting the, you know, saying, okay, it's yours car, you've got the comm, or the driver takes the control back. The handoff between man and machine is is problematic. What the, what the Mercedes uh, system does in its current state of evolution is that it, it doesn't, you don't hand it off, it sort of protects you. It makes you a better driver quietly, even though you may not be aware of it. By, by rounding off digitally, you know, corners you might be uh, taking or brake pedal pressure you might be applying. I love that. See, that makes me feel better already. Just ta just talking about this. Now, what what else is seemingly magic about this car? Uh, well, uh, for people like me, that is automotive journalists, this is the top of the mountain. For some reason, all-wheel drive European luxury wagons, estates are the ultimate automobile because. You know, you can go bang up to Stad, or you can visit, you know, Zermatt, or you can do anything. You can do anything with these cars, really. Any ski resort will do. <laughs> anyway, uh, so they're very. They have a lot of panache. Actually, half of all Mercedes E class sold in Germany are wagons, uh, but in the United States, they're very rare. So the magic of first place is to see one. And uh, but here's an interesting thing: this car has among the highest uh, uh, customer net worth of any Mercedes product in the world. It's very big with the horsey set, lovey. Right. And uh, so you can actually tow a, uh, a little horse trailer in the back of it. It's very, <laughs> very snappy. Now, Dan, all of this sort of special safety driving feature stuff is an extra package, isn't it? And a special drive pilot package? Yeah, and I think this is a this you can look forward to this in a lot of cars. You know, a bunch of this functionality, by the way, is available in, in very cheap cars. Uh, but uh, this sort of uh, semi-autonomous driver assist, these will come on in layers. They'll cost more. They'll eventually get generalized into a larger population and become affordable and attainable. But this is yes, this is the full package. You got to have the you know, the pleated leather in addition to your drive pilot assistance. And it's, uh, but it's fully functional, yes. I love the fact, though, that it does it so subtly, you say, that you almost think you did it yourself. Yeah, I think that's the thing. You know, they want it to be sort of uh, interwoven in your nerve endings. It's all about, for Mercedes, it's about workload, driver workload, sort of reducing the cognitive static. So they've really tried to make that that uh, handoff, that man-machine uh, relationship syncretic. And, uh, and, and they largely have. They could be more aggressive. You know, uh, Tesla's uh, autopiloting way more aggressive than Mercedes-Benz or any other car maker at the moment. But, you know, the, but Mercedes has, feels like it has a real good fix on uh, the human factor. And for those who are bored by com about, uh, you know, conversations about car safety and autonomous driving, I don't know who would be, but for those who are, yeah. what else uh, is there to admire about this car? It is the only, uh, this is the only market where this car sold standard jump seats. Now these jump, the engineers hate these jump seats and the Americans don't use them once they buy them. But for some reason, because tradition dating back to the sixties and Buick Vista cruisers, American wagon buyers want the jump seats and the engineers provide them uh, reluctantly. And they, they, so the compromise is they don't work and nobody uses them and everybody's happy. <laughs> Although you could punish your kids with them. Oh, it's a good way to, uh, the kids don't, you know, oh, you be quiet, I'll put you in the jump seat. Yeah, they, uh, <laughs> they pipe right down. Oh, Dan, I think I need this car. Thank you so much for telling us about it. I agree. I hope you get it. <laughs> Bye, Dan.